Hello again human beings from the planet Earth. This is a Fukushima update. Um, this page you see in front of you was just given to me as information. Um, obviously the person was worried about it and, and I want to say up front that I don't think they were trying to hand me bad or old information. Uh, but luckily enough I haven't done a lot on the Fukushima issue in the last few days. Uh, I've been extremely busy. I've been kind of listening, half listening but not putting in together any data. Um, anyway, I, I had heard word of mouth that uh, the pump on spent fuel pool number four was restarted the other day. Um, again, I didn't do any research, but I came over here, and so I recognized that this was old information, which if you're not following it, things change so quickly, this could scare the hell out of you all over again, or, you know, for the first time, but unnecessarily. Um, not to diminish the, the uh, possibilities over there, but I, I, you know, we got to deal on facts. So anyway, when you read this, you see the link to the original. Now again, I want I want you to see the date here, June 30th. This data was for June 30th, but whenever you see Blogger, make sure you're checking your dates. There's a few other blog sites that that I could mention. I won't get into that, but always check the date of the post and then check the original because this recirculated information is now disinformation even though it was truthful at one time with that date on it this information is false and this will scare the hell out of somebody this isn't the facts so please uh, to the person that sent me this you're remaining anonymous because I don't see you as somebody trying to feed me bullshit I, I think it was what you thought was current and I appreciate the relay you hear the pinging in the background that's because we're going to get to some uh, real information current information right now and the first one I'm going to go to here is where the pinging is this is a great resource Fukushima diary um, backs up the story that uh, upon investigation it was confirmed that this system trip occurred as a result of the UPS failure causing loss of power supply uh, to the monitoring instrument the cooling system was recovered by supplying power to the monitoring instrument through a bypass after replacing the failed UPS uh, power supply through UPS will be recovered um, a bunch of diagrams so anyway the pumps have been restarted with a bypass but the, it's still critical there's still work to do and they don't have the parts on hand now I, I'm only starting with this article uh, because of the damn pinging I'll link you to it, but I'm going to get rid of that now. Anyway, starting off, uh, the first bit of information I found, which is, is basically the same as what I just told you, TEPCO managed to bypass the UPS and restart the cooling system at 3.07 p.m. on July 1st. At the time of the restart, the temperature of the water inside the spent fuel pool was 42.9 degrees Celsius. TEPCO plans to replace the faulty UPS this week from the tweets of another independent journalist who reads TEPCO email. So this was the first thing I found. I can't verify this. I'm going to share it with you. But I continued on, uh, found the post that I just saw you lastly, and then this one in the meantime, this is from Kyoto News. Um, I can't say specifically that Kyoto News is reliable, but I'm going to assume with common sense that they're more reliable than a repost on blogger uh, again dated July 1st matching information to what we just saw now there is word a buzz that news coming out of Fukushima is um, being censored and stopped uh, if anybody becomes aware of that and is no longer able to get their information posted um, anywhere, whether YouTube shutting it down or the feds going around ripping down websites, uh, Master of Many Things will host that content for as long as uh, Master of Many Things is online and the government just doesn't decide to seize it, but I'm not, I put a lot of work into that website, it's my heart and soul, it's the very first domain I ever bought when I hung up my tool belt. That's my kids website. Um, anyway, uh, but this is what we do. 
And if we're afraid to stand for truth and what is right in the midst of what could happen to us, then we're not worth a shit, and that's why this country is the way it is. So please spread the word that if anybody has information directly coming from Japan that's being censored, if you can get it through the grapevine and get it to me, it will be hosted. Um, and a thank you given uh, from masterofmanythings.com. Anyway, it's been a long day. I skipped a night of sleep last night. I uh, was out all day doing what I had to do. And so, in probably an hour or so, I'm going to go to sleep when the kids do. <laughs> anyway, much love, many thanks. All the links I showed you will be below. Uh, thanks to the YouTuber that gave me the information, even though it was old, because it, it kicked me in the ass to give an update on a night that I was just going to go to sleep. And this is important. You need to know about it. So, here it is. Uh, signing off for now. Much love. Uh, unless I get a second wind and I decide to rant later on. You probably won't hear from me till tomorrow. Much love, many thanks.